Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be hacking or specifically bypassing the Android lock screens. I already have made a previous version of this video about a year ago but in that video my voice was not there to explain what was happening. But in this video I will be explaining you every step that we do in this video and at last what we get is an Android phone with no password at all. So what are the requirements of hacking the phone? The requirement number one is going to be Android debugging. So you have to turn it on. So to turn it on, what we have to do is just go to settings, search, and type USB debugging or whatever. So type USB. Sorry. My bad. USB. So click on this button. And after I click on that button, what it will do is just take me to the place where the option setting is and in this case USB debugging is already turned on so I don't have to worry about anything else so after I do that I need to make sure that the phone is rooted and in this case the phone is rooted as well so now let's say I don't know what the password is after I do it look at this I get a prompt where I have to enter the password but I don't know what the password is and in order to hack this we are going to be using a tool called adb sudo apt install so you have to type this command just to uh, install adb in your computer and after typing this it'll ask for sudo password now you will have to enter the sudo password to be able to install this but right now i already have this installed so i'm not going to be entering the password because i already have this on my computer i can use it right now So after that you can do a single thing and that is to type a command adb devices and after you do it you will get uh, probably one but you may also get more than one device is connected to your computer and in this case the one that I'm going to be hacking is going to be the emulator triple five four so just copy the name and type adb um, hyphen s name of the emulator and type cell so after doing this, you are successfully in the device's terminal. After we got the access to the phone's terminal, we can right now be, we just hacked it. The phone is already hacked or it's already in our control, but to be uh, able to use the phone uh, with a GUI available, we have to bypass the password and for that what we can do is cd2 slash uh, uh, data slash system after you do it just hit an ls and after ls you can type sudo no sudo no sudo required just type rm and type lock settings dot db and once again rm lock settings dot db dash shm last time rm lock settings dot db dash w a l so after you hit all these commands one thing is left and that is to restart the phone so you're successfully done you successfully just deleted every file that's related to password right here in this case now let me restart the phone I closed it now after I closed it what I'm going to do is reopen it and after reopening I'll show you what happens so the terminal or cell connection breaks because the phone is no more attached now after doing that click on the button to boot um, in this case I'm using a virtual phone if you're using a real phone what you can do is just long press the power button it'll just give you a bunch of options and among them select the option to restart the phone so uh, starting the virtual device okay let's wait a while and So the phone is right here in front of us. Let me bring it to to the side and okay. Android has been so. Let's see whether or not the lock screen appears. I 
it's loading everything required to turn the Android phone on and right now I'm using a virtual phone that's so it's going to be a bit slower but if you're using a real phone it's not going to be creating any problems okay Android is starting So we can see that the password has successfully been removed. So it was that easy just to bypass the Android lock screens. So if I click on the power button and once again do it, I'll not be getting any password option or I'll not have to enter any password. All I have to do is follow the steps shown in this video and I just can bypass the password. So that's it for the video. Hope you liked it and if you didn't like the video go and dislike the video and also try to comment what just made you not satisfied with this video and if something that I showed you in this video didn't work just let me know in the comments down below I'll try to solve it for you but make sure that the video is just for educational purposes and you don't use it for bad purposes so thank you and let's see in the next video